Okay, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys for the likes, shares, comments, as well as subscribe. I believe you appreciate the love and support. So let's get a message. This is for my divine feminist. So let's see what's going on. Okay. So your masculine say you got them under a spell. Okay. Not literally, but it's just by you being you naturally. Okay. So birds could be significant. You could be seeing a lot of birds, or you could be hearing a lot of birds chirping, okay, by your window when you go outside, okay? So let's see what's going on. This person could be communicating with you through birds. So every, so some of the messages you receive through birds, it's your person trying to communicate with you, okay? I always felt that way when I hear birds outside my window, I be feeling as though it's my person trying to get my attention. Like, you know how birds, they just be tweet, 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 just keep talking. So it's like your person is talking to you, telling you something, but it's like you're not, it's not, it's like you're not answering, okay? So let's see what's going on. Go ahead, guys. Give me messages to Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine. Ooh, so we have forgiving and learning, but it came out in reverse. So I'm feeling this though, that you are forgiving people, places, and things, whether they hurt you, good or bad. You're also taking the time out to learn through the lessons of the lessons dealing with people, okay? And why you had to experience and come across these people this lifetime, okay? You are trying to remain focused and live in the present moment, okay? You are noticing that you cannot take everything with you. Some things are needing to be released. Yeah, look, we have released your ex, but it's giving me like released. So you guys are releasing past energy, okay? And making healthier choices for you in order to continue to move forward. It's an ex still holding on to you, okay? They don't want to let you go. This person wants you to forgive them, okay? It's like this person is begging for your attention, okay? Take it where it resonates. Give me more divine feminists. I mean, for divine feminists, we got attraction in reverse. You don't have any more attraction for this person, two, two, two. So you definitely remove yourself from this person with retreat. Okay. You are not talking to this ex. Okay. But this ex is really longing for you. They could be doing moon magic with you because I see this big moon in this picture. So this masculine is doing moon magic with you. Okay. So it makes a lot of sense when that song by Blue Magic came on spells. Okay. Because this person is doing spells with you. So it's like whatever your ex is doing to get you to come back, that shit is backfire. Yeah, I'm telling you, this person is trying to call you in, Divine Feminist. Look, love yourself first. You chose yourself first. This person wants you to know that it's safe for you to love them. I'm telling you, they trying to pull you back in. It's like this person wants you to be a damsel in distress is what I heard. It's like this person is wanting you to miss them. Wanting you to think about them. They want you to call them or reach out to them. That's why I said this person is playing with moon magic. Very soon, this person is going to reach out to you. Or very soon, you guys are going to be in another relationship. Okay? With someone that you feel as though that could be the one for you. You got new love and pay attention to the red flags with honeymoon. Okay? I feel as though the pay attention to the red flags is coming out with this person. Because it's like, as soon as you're about to get into something new or you're embracing something within yourself, it's like this person is pulling on your energy. Okay? They want you to put your guard down so you can, like, let them back in. But pay attention to the red flags. It's a warning that comes with this. Because this person is heavy. Like, they're, they're all in your energy very heavy okay and it's like there's no more attraction there with this person it's in reverse yes yeah, separation like you separated yourself from this person they want you to make the effort i'm telling you this ex they got to go honey some of you guys might still want your ex okay that's that's whatever floats your boat okay and others of you you have forgiven this person, released this person, let this person go, and you're focusing on your healing. So that way you can stay focused in the present moment. Because the more you continue to keep reminiscing or holding on to the past, it's causing you to be stuck and stagnant. 
okay? And spirit is trying to help you manifest someone new or a higher level commitment that's on your level, okay? So that way you won't have to go through as many lessons, okay? Because in any relationship you go through, it's lessons that come with it. But at a certain level in your healing, you won't have to deal with as much as you have dealt with in the past, 515. So it's up to you guys, collective, if you want to move forward or if you are wanting to make amends and open yourself up again to trust this, trust your ex, okay? Let's get some more messages. Okay. This person is all in your energy. This person could be watching you or tapping into your phone or your camera. What's forgiving and learning? Okay. Forgiving and learning for divine feminists. Forgiving and learning. Living the present. Look, the magician in reverse. I told you. Somebody is trying to like trick you by calling you in, being all in your energy. So you can like come to them. When this person, if they want to talk to you or whatever the case may be, they can pick up the phone. Yeah, the world card. What's the will of fortune? I meant, I said the Wheel of Fortune, nine of cups. So you guys got good fortune on your side. What's the Magician in Reverse? Magician in Reverse. I'm telling you, look, this person is trying to call you in. They're trying to trick you. They're pulling on your heartstrings. It's like this person could be saying, don't you love me? I know you love me. Like, you don't love me. It's like this person could be looking at a photo or a picture of you or something like that. And they was like, love me. Fall in love with me. Somebody is like falling in love. Somebody is doing love spells to get you to fall back in love with them. This is crazy. Yeah, the nine of wands. But it's not penetrating you. Like, it's just not. <laughs> Give me more of the Magician in Reverse with the Queen of Cups. Magician in Reverse with the Queen of Cups. Whoop. Yeah, the Five of Swords, I'm telling you, like, these mind games is not working. Whatever they're trying to do to win you back or to get you back is not working. Yeah, Ten of Swords. It's, it's a painful, harshful ending. It's a harshful, painful ending. This person wants you back, man. I know we are in whatever Mercury retrograde and stuff like that. And some of these people you already forgiven, release, let go, and you healed from them. Okay, but because they are going through karma or whatever the case may be, whatever is happening in their life, it's like they're they're longing for you, they're yearning for you, they're crying for you. Okay, they're talking to the moon for you. Eight eighteen. Yeah, it was a lesson. You learned a spiritual lesson from this person. Just to release your ex. Okay, seven of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, you're not giving energy to that situation. Because this person don't feel you energetically no more. What's the seven of pentacles in reverse? You'll release your ex. The three of swords. And the king of pentacles. This person is heartbroken. They're hurt. Give me more on this King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. The High Priestess. And this person is doing this in secret. Making you being, make you, this person is trying to make you feel confused or make you be confused or moving on. And they're doing this. With the five of swords. They're causing you to have inner conflict within yourself. Or having conflict with making the decision for you to move forward. So you're trying to move on from this person. And this person is fighting against you. This person is fighting to get you back. 
fighting for you to fall in love with them, fighting for you to give them time and energy. So it's like a love-hate thing. Between you and this person, it's like one minute y'all good, next minute y'all not. What's the attraction in reverse? The page of cups and the ace of cups? What's this page of cups and the ace of cups? Page of cups, ace of cups. Page of cups, ace of cups. Page of Cups, Ace of Cups. The Queen of Swords. Hmm. It's actually three people involved with the star card. Whoever this King of Pentacles is, they want to win. They want to be. Okay, this is a hot mess. Somebody is trying to manipulate and trick one person into falling out of love with them so they can go to another person because they in love with the person that they have a crush on or that they're secretly admiring. You and this per could, person could have been flirting Or y'all could have started off as friends. Or this person could have tried to friend zone you with the page of cups and the queen of swords. Now this person could be trying to break up with one person to come to you. But this person is being sneaky about it. Trying to get out of one situation to come over here. Ooh, honey child. Look, Spirit said that's the truth. And this is your ex. So your person could be trying to move away from a water sign or move away from a, a fire sign. I mean, an air sign. Whoever this King of Pentacles masculine is. So this masculine feels as though he can have the best of both worlds. Hand in my tent. So it's like this person is in a compromising situation, five of swords. Something that probably won't end well neither. Give me more of this Queen of Swords. Give me more of the Queen of Swords. Sorry about the back of the world. Give me more of this Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords. The Temperance. I'm telling you. This person wants to restore balance with you. Restore love. That's why this person is wanting you to know that it's safe for you to love them. Because they want you to trust them again. Would you know they don't? Because they already played mind games with you. And that's why you're in this Queen of Swords energy. And for others of you, this person is leaving one situation to come to you. Because they're in love with you. And I guess this person can't um, block out their feelings that they have for you because their feelings started off small from you as like y'all being friends and then over time it grew into a big ass ace of cups. Like just full of love, it's overflowing. And this is a feeling that they can't deny anymore. But they can't feel your energy no more because you pulled your energy back. What's the calling in your soulmate? What's the calling in your soul? But yeah, six of swords, they're being guided to come towards you. So with the release your ex, that could be this masculine energy that's trying to release their ex. But they got to manipulate their ex to get to you. What's this six of swords? <laughs> What's this six of swords calling in your soul? Yeah, the lovers. Mm-hmm. The lovers. It's like somebody is coming in to uh, admit to, hey, 
come in, come in, come in, come in. Thank you. It's like somebody is coming in to uh, admit their love to you. To, uh uh, that's it. To admit to you that they love you, to admit to you that they want to be with you. Mm -hmm. What's this six of swords in the lovers? That is soulmate energy. Okay, now. Yeah, page of swords and the nine of swords. This person could be watching you to see how they can approach you. Or even make a move towards you. Okay, they could be a little bit scary. Yeah, eight of wands, they definitely want to move towards you. This person could be a little bit scary with the nine of swords because they're watching you. Because they see you in this queen of swords energy. So they feel like that you're going to go off, go ham, or curse them out. I told you, they feel like you're going to go off. You're going to curse them out. You're going to go ham. Look, and this person don't want to argue. Look, and the empress. I'm telling you, this masculine don't want to argue. Okay, they want a peaceful resolution is what I heard. I'm hearing that song by Aaliyah. This person don't want to argue. They don't want to go back and forth. They don't want to have a disagreement. They want this conversation between y'all with the eight of wands to run smoothly. So it's like this person wants y'all to get over what they have done or put you through pertaining this ex of theirs. For others of you, you have like a secret admirer, okay? You could be dating this person already. Some of you guys already found your soulmate, okay? You're already sleeping with this person. Y'all be having good sex or whatever y'all got going on. I ain't gonna get too much of y'all business now. That's for a select few of you. Okay, y'all moved in together or y'all going to move in together. You could be a person that got a lot of patience as well. Like, it takes a lot for you to go off. Yeah, the tower cop. Excuse me, can you get there? It takes a lot for you to go off. Okay? So you can be like a very peaceful person. But this person feel like you gonna go ham. Let's see what this nine of swords is. I'm telling you, this person is scary. They afraid of what you might say. What's this nine of swords page of swords? Justice, but that's the this person know that that's the only way it's gonna balance things out. So it's like try not to uh, cut this man's throat <laughs> when they do speak to you, say something to you, or talk to you, because they're already afraid. You already like got this person shaking in their boots, man. Like you give them anxiety. What's this? Is it safe to love? Is it safe for you to love? Yeah, the death card. Is it safe for you to love the death card? And the eight of pentacles. Someone definitely wants to resurrect a partnership. So you and this person could have worked with each other before. Yeah, the Queen of Pentacles. You and this person could have worked with each other before, but it could have been a karmic cycle. So it's like you and this person have unfinished business is what I'm hearing. With this death card, the Eight of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, the Three of Pentacles, and the Star card. So something is faded and destined to happen between you and this person because y'all have unfinished business. 
but some of you got to get out of your head okay because that's the only way you're going to be able to uh, welcome in a brand new beginning or a new chapter with this person for others of you it's new love it's somebody you're already dating talking to traveling with sleeping with and so on and so forth so you know your situation for others of you it's someone that's not, that's leaving an ex left an ex or have to manipulate their way out of a situation with an ex to get to you so you take it where it resonates or where you place yourself at divine feminist okay but overall i just feel as though you're going through a major transformation within your career so your career is changing Okay, you done went through a full transformation. And it's showing within your work. And that's how it was supposed to go. So you're fully aligned with your birth chart. Divine Feminist, Three of Pentacles, the Star, and the Will of Fortune. Okay, so you're already in your destiny. So you're, you're, you were supposed to work on yourself, focus on yourself, be in this energy of mastering you and what you're called to do and whatever was going on with this person was supposed to happen. Divine timing with the temperance. Because when the time is right, this person is going to come in to you. So it's like get out of your head so a new cycle can open up with the will of fortune. After some healing and, and, and some agreements between the two of you. Okay? Some negotiations, some agreements, some establishing of trust, building of trust. That's what it's, it's like, it's going to be some work here, okay? Whether it's with this ex or whether with this new person. Because they are getting out of a painful relationship. And healing is needed. So someone feels though that they can jump out of one situation into another. No, they got to heal. This is what the same. This person could also be paying a tarot reader. Like to keep tabs on you. So this is how this person stalks you or watches you or see what you got going on by paying tarot readers or paying for readings. This person could also could have asked you for a reading. Or could be asking you for a reading, like commenting under your stuff, asking you for a reading. But this person is trying to be discreet or they trying to hide who they are. This person could also be tapping into readings. Like they could be having their own deck of cards reading on you. Like it's, a, it's so much I'm picking up on this mask. But you would never know because they don't show it. They hide that side of them. This person is into this. Baby girl, give me that. Give me that. This person is into the same stuff. This person is into the same things you're into. But they don't um show it. Maybe this person wasn't ready to accept their uniqueness within their self. They wanted to hide that. But this person always been intuitive. So that's probably why they was able to play mind games with you. Making all this goddamn noise. 
got damn moves. This person must be mad because you figuring them out. <laughs> but not in a bad way. Like you just you just figuring this person out. This person feel like you're reading them to the T. Like and they don't, it's like they don't know if they should like it or love it. Like it's kind of like freaking them out. Cause you're reading them. Mm -mm -mm. But this person watching you, like when you watch somebody and you tap into their energy, they gonna pick up on the collective. You part of the collective, so that's what you gonna get. So this person is definitely watching you. They're in their head now. They're trapped in their mind. I'm hearing somebody say, damn, she's good. What's the love yourself first now? What's the love yourself first? Love yourself first. Love yourself. Nine of Pentacles, I'm telling you. This person could have, could be now choosing their self, putting their self first. This person literally had to like, probably fight this person off in order to get them away or in order to end this relationship with this water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Cause this person is doing love spells on you. They're calling you in on some shit like, do they love me? Do you love me? Do you want me? I love you. I want you. Shit like that. That's how this person calling you. And it's like the more they calling you in, the more it's backfiring. That's the truth for you say Ace of Swords. Because now it's like they don't, they know that you're not going to come to them, so they got to come to you. So it's like Spirit is forcing this person to be vulnerable and open up to you, Ace of Cups. Because they know that you're not going to say nothing. <laughs> because your guys is telling you not to. You're being told not to. The spirit team is like, look, you didn't say it enough. You didn't did enough. And it's like now this person has to make a move. Six of swords and eleven. Because by them watching you all freaking day. It ain't doing nothing but stressing them out. Because they feel as though somebody else going to get you. Somebody else going to fall in love with you. Like, if somebody was to ever discover you, discover you or if somebody else is attracted to you or is there somebody else watching you, like, do people see what I see in this person? I'm telling you, this person, like, I know I'm not the only one that see what I see in this person. So who wouldn't want this person? That's how this person is feeling. So they know they got to be the ones that bring in the justice, bring in the balance. Because you already balanced. Temperance, Queen of Swords, you could just sit there and master yourself, master your career, your business, your job, and transmute that energy all day. Shh, watch out. This person is going to be stuck in that energy. Because the mind games they're trying to play on you to get you to love them by doing black magic. That shit is backfiring. But they feel as though you all got unfinished business. But they know somewhere down the line you're not going to trust them or you don't trust them, but I'm finished. Because this person did manipulate you. And try to keep hitting a, a, a relationship or a ending of a breakup because they didn't want you to know. But they already know that you know the truth. Queen of Swords, you already know. For some of you guys, you already know. It's like you just wanted this person to come to you being open and, and honest. Like, why do people make some this stuff so hard when it's not? I don't understand. Look, my spirit guy said, because they're not as blunt as you or they're not as open as you. Okay, it's real shit. Child, are you okay? Hold on, y'all. This little girl. Sit down, please. Sit down. Like, spirit, like, they not as open as we are divine feminists. So, 
Because when certain people go through so much or they experience so much or they afraid of being vulnerable and opening their self up to you as far as their experiences and relationships or what they've been through in the past. Because some of, some of these masculines past, you be surprised. You feel me? But that's still not going to stop you from having that attraction or liking that person. You feel what I'm saying? Because if you feel as though you like this person and you feel a connection with this person, that's what it is. And then on top of that, when you have a real spiritual connection with somebody, you don't judge each other. You openly love each other for who they are. So, uh, yeah, like what? That's all I wanted to say. And maybe this person looked at you like, what would make you, what would make you be attracted to them? Because you're so straightforward, you're so honest. Like, who wouldn't want a man or a woman to be so upfront with what it is that they want? And you scared this person, I'm telling you. Some of the shit you did, some of the shit you say, when this person watch you, you actually, like, scares them. Because they never even, like, met, seen, or came across a person like you. Because you're just so blunt. You don't sugarcoat shit. And it's like, it's not like you saying it in a mean, harshful way. It's just this person know it's the truth. Like, this person can't deny that. They just know it's the truth. But they know if they was to ever ask you for some form of advice, or they was to ever to sit down and communicate with you, you would be as honest with this person as possible. Like, so this person know that they'll be able to trust you, if anything. It's just this person don't know if you will feel the same if you will trust them. You get what I'm saying? But it all takes time in the process of healing. When you and this person come together. Okay. So we we'll at 32 minutes. I guess I'm gonna just get this last final outcome. Clarify the nine of pentacles and love yourself first. Like this person admires the fact and love the fact that you shh, that you didn't chase after them. You was impressed after them, and you ain't do so much to keep their attention. You just pulled back. You you called it a quiz. You said, you know what? Cool. You going to do you. I'm going to do me, and I'm going to work on myself and build on myself. Because loving me is what I'm supposed to do first. Six of cups. What's this six of cups? Knight of Pentacles. What's this six of cups? Knight of Pentacles. The hangman. The seven of swords in reverse. And one more card for the seven of swords in reverse. One more card for the seven of swords in reverse. And the two of wands. So this person is no longer stuck on which way they're going or which way they're heading. Only reason that only thing that was slowing this person down was because of the past. They still had some cycles that they needed to cancel, exit out, and delete before they made this move towards you with the two of wands. So it could have been a lot of fog surrounding this person. That's what I got with the seven of swords. So it could have been a lot of fog surrounding this person, like a lot of deceptive energies. Because this person was being deceptive. So if you, this person was being deceptive towards you, of course they're going to be around other deceptive people. And they're not going to be able to think straight or see clearly. And by being around you, it would open up this person's abilities. King of Pentacles and the High Priestess. Because they've already been in tune, but it just opened up even more. Page of Cups, Ace of Cups. That's how this person is able to communicate with you telepathically and send you messages and love songs and all this other stuff. And yeah, that's about it.
Look, and then the Ace of Swords is that cut open the deck with the Ace of Wands. And the Queen of Wands. This person is attracted to you and a strength card. And they love how strong you are. Judgment. Like this person know you will call them out when they shit. <laughs> so they already know that before they have before they come to you, they have to clear this up. Clear up this mess. Okay, now some of it is still gonna be there because this is something that this person has to like take care, like provide for or assist. But the rest of that other stuff, you ain't even gotta worry about it, provide for me. That's why in my last video I posted, I said it's been a long time coming. It's been a long time coming with these unions fighting tooth and nail because of exes, karmics, all types of shit. So this y'all message divine feminists. Like, share, comment, as well, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification. Peace.